there, very good evening and a very warm welcome. This is Rufwani Hills. I'm Shiraz Hello everyone, I'm Shiraz Bichado. Good to have you with us. We take a look at the headlines first. Tiger terrorists were retreating from their forward defense line at Kilali Muhammadley in the face of heavy attacks of security forces of the 53rd Brigade. Tiger terrorists had to call for reinforcements as they suffered a severe setback in the limited onslaught of troops. This report has been filed by Rupani Special Correspondent Amal Samantha from the Northern Battlefront. Hello, very good evening everyone and welcome to the news live on Rupa Bahini. I'm Faisal Bonzo. A very good evening indeed. I'm Shah Maskrinyas. First, let's look at today's headlines. President Mind the Rajapaksa mingled with devotees at the Andhra sacred city. Over 1,000 million he and JVP supporters cross over to the UPFA. Well, the Sri Lanka Army Infantry Regiment celebrated its 20th anniversary as a special ceremony at Panagoda Army Headquarters yesterday. Secretary to the President Lalit Virathunga was the chief guest. The government says that the rest of the 9,000 IDPs will be resettled in the domiciled villages before the 31st of this month. A very good evening and a warm welcome. This is Rupa Vahini News and I'm in Raja Surya. A very good evening indeed and I'm sure our Maskrinyas first to look at the day's headlines. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon hailed the government's commitment for the displaced people in the north. He said that the expert committee appointed by the UN on Sri Lanka has not been vested any powers to investigate allegations against the island. President Mahindra Rajapaksa, who is in New York attending the UN summit, called on UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in New York and held one-on-one -on -one talks at the UN office. On to the stories in detail. Fourteen people have lost their lives due to floods and accidents of landslides. The most number of deaths have been reported from the Badula district. Ten residents of Galkanda, Hagoda and Rilapola are among those who lost their lives. For <laughs> Hello, good evening. Welcome to Rupiah News. Hello there. Very good evening indeed. I'm Shah Maskrinis. President Mahindra Rajapaksa says that the government is ready to provide everything to the people in the northeast except the lives lost in the 30-year brutal terrorism. On to the stories in detail now, starting off with local news. The health ministry says that the number of totally recovered COVID-19 cases has been risen up to 7,186. 563 COVID-19 patients left hospitals throughout the country. 2,904 COVID-19 patients were fully recovered during the past seven days. The quarantine curfew imposed across the country will be lifted at 4 a.m. tomorrow. The Ministry of Health issued the new health guidelines effective from tomorrow in a bid to reopen the country gradually. YouTube sensation Johani De Silva, who thrilled the world with her epic song Manike Mangehite, successfully conducted her second Indian concert yesterday. The magnificent event took place at the Hot Cup Coffee Theatre in Gachpoli in Hyderabad. That's all the stories for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow at the very same time. Until then, stay safe and good night.